Libya, a country in North Africa, is currently facing a terrible flood crisis that has caused a lot of damage and loss of lives. However, did you know that the late Libyan leader, Muammar Gaddafi, had started an important project called the Great Man-Made River? This project involved building tunnels and pipelines underground to move water from the Sahara Desert to the people who live on the coast. It was a really big project. In this video, we will talk about how this idea might have worked and how it could have helped prevent the flood crisis happening in Libya today. The Great Man-Made River Project was started by Muammar Gaddafi in the 1980s to solve Libya's water scarcity problem. Libya is mostly located in the Sahara Desert, where water is hard to come by. Gaddafi wanted to create a sustainable water supply for the country's big cities and farming areas. The project involved building a huge network of underground tunnels and pipelines to move water from the dry southern regions to the coastal areas. The infrastructure included wells, pumping stations, reservoirs, and a distribution network that went for thousands of kilometers. This project was an ambitious initiative that aimed to tackle multiple challenges related to water management, particularly in Libya's arid regions. One of the major goals of this project was to prevent floods and optimize water distribution across the country. To achieve this, the project team devised various strategies, including the use of underground tunnels to redirect excess rainwater away from flood-prone areas and towards regions that lacked adequate water supply. Another key aspect of the project was the construction of reservoirs that could store large quantities of water during heavy rainfall. By doing so, the project could reduce the risk of flooding downstream and ensure that the water resources were utilized optimally. Additionally, the irrigation infrastructure of the project could be leveraged to channel floodwaters into agricultural fields. This strategy would not only minimize the damage caused by floods in urban regions, but also benefit farmers by providing them with much needed water for their crops. Overall, the Great Man-Made River Project was a comprehensive and well thought out plan that sought to address some of the most pressing challenges related to water management in Libya. Through its innovative strategies and cutting-edge technologies, the project aimed to ensure that the country's water resources were utilized in a smart and efficient manner, benefiting both urban and rural communities. One key objective of the GMR project was to combat desertification in the north and west of Libya. This was to be achieved through the expansion of green areas in these regions. The project aimed to increase vegetation cover, which would have helped to create natural buffers that could absorb excess rainwater. This, in turn, would have significantly reduced the risk of floods. The expansion of green spaces would have had several benefits beyond preventing desertification. For example, forests and grasslands have the capacity to absorb and retain water. By increasing the green areas, the GMR project would have provided natural reservoirs for excess rainwater. This would have mitigated the impact of heavy rainfall and reduced the likelihood of devastating floods. The GMR project involved the extraction of freshwater from underground aquifers. One of the critical objectives of the project was to replenish these sources by recharging the groundwater. This was an essential aspect of the project as it would have helped to maintain water levels in the aquifers. By doing so, the project would have reduced the risk of surface water flooding during periods of heavy rainfall. Recharging underground aquifers is a critical process that can help to mitigate the impact of surface water flooding. When the aquifers are recharged, the excess rainfall infiltrates the ground and replenishes the water table. This process helps to mitigate surface water flooding by reducing the volume of water flowing overland. This, in turn, reduces the risk of overwhelming drainage systems and potentially causing significant damage. The GMR project would have played a vital role in reducing the risk of surface water flooding during heavy rainfall events. 
There are two main reasons why the Great Man-Made River Project in Libya has been unable to prevent or reduce the recent floods. Firstly, the country has been experiencing civil war and conflicts since 2011, which have disrupted the construction, maintenance and operation of the project. Secondly, there is a lack of technical service stations to keep the infrastructure working effectively. The ongoing conflicts and lack of resources have also resulted in neglecting the maintenance of the project, causing damage and deterioration of its components. Moreover, the infrastructure has been subjected to armed attacks and deliberate damage during the civil war and conflicts, which have further compromised its ability to prevent floods and manage water resources. The ongoing flood crisis in Libya could have been prevented or minimized if the great man-made river project had been completed and maintained. The project's infrastructure could have diverted excess rainwater, stored it in reservoirs and channeled it into agricultural fields. This would have reduced the impact on urban areas and provided valuable water resources where needed, minimizing damage to infrastructure, properties and livelihoods, as well as significantly reducing the loss of lives. Integrating the Great Man-Made River Project with irrigation infrastructure would have facilitated agricultural development, supporting increased agricultural productivity and contributing to food security in Libya. Additionally, a reliable and sustainable water supply through the project would have reduced Libya's dependence on external sources for water. This increased self-sufficiency would have contributed to economic independence and stability for the country. The great man-made river, which was started by Muammar Gaddafi, had the potential to help prevent or reduce the current flood crisis in Libya. By efficiently distributing and storing water, as well as integrating irrigation infrastructure, the project could have helped balance water resources, lower flood risks, and promote environmental sustainability. However, due to challenges such as the civil war and lack of upkeep, the project was left unfinished and Libya is now dealing with the consequences of the floods. Nonetheless, recognizing the advantages that the project could have brought highlights the importance of investing in water management and infrastructure development to mitigate future flood disasters in the area. Thanks for watching. Please ensure you subscribe to our channel for more educative and informative content like this.